to ask everyone in this room to picture yourself in this situation. Imagine you're a five-year-old child sitting in the playground. You can hear other kids playing together and having fun. You want to go and join them, but you can't because you don't know how to communicate with them. Your mother comes to you now. She's telling you something, but you can't understand what she's saying. And that makes you so frustrated that you start hitting yourself and your mother. But you're not doing that intentionally. You love your mother, but it looks like you're trapped in a body that doesn't do what you ask it to do. These are what many children with autism spectrum disorder, known as ASD, may experience in their everyday lives. ASD is a lifelong neurodevelopmental disability characterized by impairment in communication and social skills and having restricted and repetitive behavior. But these are not the only challenges. These children usually have poor motor skills, self-injurious behavior, sensory issues, and so on. You might think that there are not many kids with ASD. And it might sound shocking to you that the current estimate of ASD is one per 45. There's no cure for ASD up to this day. So what can be done? What can we do to decrease the difficulties that these children experience? That's where my research comes in. Gymnastics intervention has been beneficial for kids from different populations, but no published study has looked at the effect of it on kids with ASD. So as a gymnastics coach, I designed a six-week gymnastics program for children ages five to nine with ASD. Twelve children in that age group with ASD were recruited to participate in this study. Their motor skills, static and dynamic balance are measured before and after the intervention and with a four-week follow-up. The, all the participants were randomized into either gymnastics or fine motor group. The gymnastics group work on basic gymnastics movements that can improve their gross motor skills and balance. And the fine motor group work on activity, activities such as doing crafts that can improve their fine motor skills. Since there is a link between motor and social skills, it is also expected that there will be an improvement in their social skills too. Back to the child in the playground, I hope that studies like this can help children like him have a better, easier, and happier life. And always remember, the key to their future is hope. And I'm sure that these children have a bright future ahead. Thank you.